air pollution is definitely a global problem. Up to 8 million people are dying prematurely across the globe because of the quality of air they're breathing. Air pollution consists of tiny particles, PM2.5, and gases such as nitrogen dioxide. If you had a time-lapse camera and you had someone sitting down on a sofa, you would see a fume of dust particles being produced. Sometimes you can see it actually when the sun is shining and you suddenly see all this dust in the air in your home. And just to put that into context, if I take a human hair, you can get 30 of the tiny particles I'm talking about, PM 2.5, across the one human hair. And because they're that small, you breathe them in and they go deep into your lung. It's the same pollutants, but they're just not there in the same concentrations. But they're there in sufficient concentrations that we know they're affecting people's health. If our house isn't really well sealed, we've got those outside pollutants coming in. But on top of that, we've also got sources inside the home which are producing pollution. If we cook by gas, then we're producing tiny particles, these PM2.5 particles, and a gas called nitrogen dioxide. If we're frying, we'll be producing a lot of particles as well, as opposed to boiling our food or putting it in the oven.